Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem on pie charts. Okay, it says that a clothing merchant has 3,840 pieces of clothing of five types. The pie chart below represents what fraction of the clothing are of each type. PQ is the diameter of the circle on the pie chart. Okay, now PQ is the diameter of the circle. And what does a diameter do? Well, a diameter divides the circle into two halves. So in the case of this pie chart, it divides the pie into two halves. So the t-shirts and the shirts together, they constitute half the clothing and the dresses, skirts and pants constitute the other half of the total number of uh, pieces of clothing. Okay, now what can we tell about this slice of the pie over here, the green one that represents the pants? Well, what we can tell is looking at this slice and this right angle over here, we can tell that this is a quarter of the whole pie chart. So the pants are one fourth of all the pieces of clothing. All right, now let's uh, look at our questions one by one. Let's see what the first question is. It says, how many shirts does the clothing merchant have? Okay, the shirts are here. Now we don't know what fraction of the clothing is shirts, but we can find that out easily. How? Well, we know that the t-shirts and the shirts together, they are half of all the pieces of clothing. Why? Because PQ is the diameter and that diameter divides the pie into two halves. Okay, so the t-shirts and the shirts together are one half. So how do we find out what fraction of the clothing is shirts? Well, you simply subtract the fraction that is t-shirts from half and then you will get the fraction that is shirts. Okay, it's quite easy. Well, one half can be written as 0 08. Then you subtract 3 8 from 8 and what you will get is 1 8, right? 1 half, how do you get 4 8? Well, you multiply that by 4 and this also by 4. So you get a common denominator 8 here and 8 here and then you subtract. We know that bit about fractions. All right, so 1 8 of all the clothing is shirts and if there were 3,840 pieces of clothing altogether, then what is the number of shirts? Well, 1 8 of 3840 is shirts so that means 1 8 of 3840 is shirts and uh, let's see let's just uh, simplify this how do we do that well divide this by 2 you get 4 divide this by 2 you get 1 9 2 0 divide that again by 2 you get 2 here and you get uh, 19 divided by 2 is 9 you have one remainder which you put here and this is 960 this can again be divided by 2 we do that this gives us 1 and this gives us 4 you have a remainder of 1 8 and 0 so there were 480 shirts okay that's the answer to the first question. Let's move on to the next question. All right, the next question is, what fraction of the clothing are dresses? All right, before I forget, let me write that number here. The shirts are equal to 418 number. All right, now the fraction of clothing that are dresses. Let's see, the dresses are here. Okay, let's find out what this uh, fraction is equal to. Well, we know that, again, the PQ, the diameter, divides the pie into two halves. So the dresses plus the skirts plus the pants is one half of the pie, right? Now, how do we find out what fraction of the clothing are dresses? So again, simply, just like before, half minus the fraction that is skirts is one fifth minus the fraction that is pants which is a quarter, right? But we know this is a quarter because of this right angle mark, right? All right, so one half minus one fifth minus one fourth. Let's uh, find a common denominator. Well, the common denominator is uh, 20, right? So times 10 times four and times five. Times 10 here as well, times four here as well, and this times five. So 10 over 20 minus four over 20 minus 5 over 20 all right now if you don't know how to find common denominators and all that stuff then please go watch uh, the videos that i did on now uh, fractions and you will know how to get a common denominator all right now 10 minus 4 minus 5 what is that equal to that's equal to 1 10 minus 4 is 6 6 minus 5 is 1 so this is 1 over 20 the fraction of the clothing that addresses is 1 
out of 20. So that means that if this pie was taken and cut into 20 small pieces, then one of those pieces would be the fraction that represents the dresses. All right, that's it. That's quite easy. Let's move on to the third question. And the question is, how many dresses are there? Well, this is quite simple. We know that 1 20th of all the clothing is dresses. Then to find out the number, we simply do 1 20th of 3840 because there are 3840 pieces altogether. So the 0 and the 0 cancel out. Then you divide this by 2, you get 1. You divide this by 2, you get what? Let's see, 1. You have a remainder of 1. This is 9 and this is again 2. So it's 192. So 192 pieces of clothing were dresses. Quite simple, right? Let's uh, see what the next question is. Well, the next question is, are there more dresses or skirts? How many more? Well, let's see. The skirts are here. The dresses are here. It's quite obvious that the slice that represents the skirts is bigger than the slice that represents the dresses. Now, you have to keep in mind that a pie chart is always drawn to scale, which means that if there are more skirts than dresses, then the slice that represents the skirts has to be bigger than the slice that represents the dresses. Okay, so it's always drawn to scale. So from this pie chart, we can tell quite easily that the skirts are definitely more in number than the dresses. And also, you know, if you look at the fractions, the fraction for the skirts is one fifth, right? This one over here. And the fraction that represents the dresses is one twentieth. And we know that one fifth is bigger than one twentieth. So obviously there are more skirts than dresses. Okay, now that we know that there are more skirts than dresses, we have to find out how many more, okay? We know that there are 192 dresses, but how many skirts are there? Well, one fifth of all the clothing is skirts. So one fifth of 3840 is skirts. Uh, what is that equal to? Let's uh, simplify this. This is seven times five is 35. You have a remainder of three. Five times six is 30. You have a remainder of four. And five times eight is 40. Okay, with no remainder. So 768 pieces of clothing are skirts. So there are 768 skirts. Now we have to find out how many more. So we simply do 768 minus 192 because there are 768 skirts and 192 dresses. And that will give you, let's see, 8 minus 2 is 6. 16 minus 9 is 7. 6 minus 1 is 5. So there are 576 more skirts than dresses. That's the answer to this question. How many more? All right, quite easy. Let's see what the next question is. All right, so the question is, what is the ratio of the number of t-shirts to the number of shirts? Well, we know that the number of shirts is 480, but do we know what the number of t-shirts is? Well, we don't know yet, but let's find out. 3 8 of all the clothing is t-shirts. So 3,840 is all the clothing. 3 8 of that is t-shirts. So let's find out what that is equal to. Well, uh, how about I use a calculator to be quick? So 3,840 times 3, okay, whatever that is divided by 8 is 1,440. So 1,440, that's the number of t-shirts, okay. Now we have to find out the ratio of the number of t-shirts to the number of shirts. So 1,440 is the total number of t-shirts and 480 is the total number of shirts. How do we simplify this? Quite easy. Well, 0 and the 0 cancel out. 144, we know that's divisible by 12 because 12 times 12 is 144. And we divide this also by 12, we get 4. So the new ratio is 12 to 4, which can again be simplified. Divide this by 4, you get 3. Divide this by 4, you get 1. So the ratio of the number of t-shirts to the number of shirts is 3 to 1. But there's another way of finding that out. You know, if you don't really go and find out what the total number is, you can use the fractions and you can come to the same answer. You know how? Well, 3 8 of all the clothing is t-shirts and 1 8 of all the clothing is shirts. 
Now, cancel this out, cancel this out because they're both 8. What you are left with is 3, 2, 1. And that's the same as this answer over here that we got to using the number of t-shirts and number of shirts. So if it's uh, just the ratio that you have to find out, then it doesn't matter whether you use the actual numbers or the fraction, you should get the same answer because all you care about is the relation between the two, right? Between the number of t-shirts and the number of shirts. So you can use either fractions or you can also use percentage if that's given to you or you can use the number and you will still get the same answer. In this case, three to one. All right, okay, next, let's see. I think there's one more question. Let me make some room here and uh, find out what that is and then solve it, okay? All right, how many percent of the clothing are pants and skirts? We have the skirts here. The fraction is one-fifth. The pants is one-fourth. What we have to find out is the percent of the clothing that are pants and skirts. Okay, let's see what fraction of all the clothing is skirts and pants together. So pants is a quarter and skirts is a fifth. Now let's see, let's find a common factor, a common denominator actually. This is times five times five. This is times four times four. So the common denominator is 20. Five over 20 plus four over 20. So nine twentieth of all the clothing is either pants or skirts. Okay, so that's the fraction. Now we have to find out the percent. And how do we do that? Well, 9 twentieth. What is that equal to in percentage? That's what this is equal to. 9 twentieth times 100%. What is that equal to? Well, this and this can cancel out. This divided by 20 gives you 1. And 100 divided by 20 gives you 5. And 9 times 5 is 45. So 45% of all the clothing are pants and skirts. Now, if you want, you can also find out the answer to this question using the actual figures or actual numbers for skirts and pants. Find out what a fifth of 3,840 is and find out what a fourth of 3,840 is. That will give you the numbers for skirts and pants. And using that, find out what percent of the clothing are pants and skirts. And you should really get the same answer. So after you finish watching this video, do go and try out using the actual numbers for skirts and pants, okay? And you should get 45%. All right, for now, I think I've talked enough for this lesson and I'm going to end it right here. I hope you understood what I taught and I hope that now you'll go back and practice some questions and take some tests or quizzes as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.